So yesterday I started the vlog by <laughs> having a lot of energy today, not as much energy. I repackaged some of these slider sliders and my wife ate a couple for breakfast. 1.47 pounds, a little over 20 ounces. Yeah, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I was like, I'm not sure I want to make the same meal, but I'm going to cook these sliders like I did yesterday. And I might, I have this leftover Osobuco fat and, and jus in there. The marrow and just, mmm. So I might cook these burgers and then put some of that into the pan and just kind of eat the hamburgers with a little, little beef sauce on it. <sighs> it's one of those days at work where everything went horribly wrong. I, all the plans that we had for our schedule, everyone called in because it was a crazy rainy day and they're like, yeah, can we reschedule, we reschedule. So I had a bunch of waiting around and just trying to find things to do. And for some reason it was tiring. <laughs> Maybe I'll put in a little snippet of a video I did this morning where I was talking about control. You know when it's time to rest. And how do you know when it's time to get up and run towards something? I would say it always starts with the international sign of surrender. It's ironic when I feel compelled to just bring a message about control that and get ready for get ready for a day in realizing that I'm not in control, that I was put in a position where it was obvious I had no control over and over again. <laughs> Let's cook this beef. I was just thinking about how interesting this is going to be when I take all of these meals because I filmed everything I've eaten except for the beef jerky last night and another piece one other day. But essentially every meal I've had so far 11 days down but for all 31 days of January. Hopefully without missing anything. That I think it'll be interesting. And if it wasn't raining, I was going to grill these because I'm like, I need to switch it up. Because I like to switch things up and I think it, yeah, it's more interesting. It's like, oh, I'm cooking the same thing every day the same exact way. I saw a comment, I forgot who put it there, but they were saying about the histamine levels in hamburger are typically higher. And that's maybe why I was feeling a little bit groggy yesterday after eating. Or just, you know, just a little bit sluggish and weird. Like you could fill it in your blood. <laughs> I do, back in the day, 20 years ago, uh, old Aaron is what I like to call him when I was quite... There was a lot to be desired in my life, but I was donating plasma and I went, I remember I went to a Burger King and I ate three Whoppers and I was, went over the donate plasma and they were like, yes, you cannot donate plasma because your blood is so cloudy. That's what I always picture when I think like after eating some hamburger, like what my arteries are going to be filled, like all cloudy like that. Mm, these are crisping up. Stop talking, get to eating.
Keep forgetting my screen. You see the crust on that? That is some serious crust in that action. I got a very, very high quality stainless steel pan here. It's actually stainless steel with titanium over it, so they're supposed to be indestructible. And with a family of 10, we're putting that to the challenge. I'm gonna actually pour some of this beef fat out because render beef fat just like this, yeah, it ends up feeling like it's way too much. Buco flavor. There's a lot of fat in there. I'm gonna kinda, I'm just gonna use some of the flavor this time. thought behind this is it's scraping all that fawn off the bottom of the of the of the pan that's all that flavor warm this up I mean it's kind of a shame to put a bunch of liquid on some crusty burgers but I'll take the hit Let me try a piece of this. Mmm. That's good. Well, I just realized that that was not the also buku. That was my leftover meatball. <laughs> my concoction from like a week ago. That should be good. That's hot. This will not be lacking flavor. Look, I'm using a pie plate the way they were intended. Oh, mmm. Ah, that's hearty. A little bit salty. A little bit salty. I'm gonna go eat this, take a little chill time, and then I'll see you at dinner. We're having some ribeye. Ribeye. I'm gonna cut a whole ribeye. The whole thing. Not eat it all at once, but I'm gonna cut up some ribeyes and I'm gonna eat some ribeye. Did I say ribeye? Ribeye. Ribeye for dinner. How much you wanna bet if I tell my wife I'll make a ribeye, she'll want one. I'll bet you. What are you cooking? So, uh, sausage soup. You asked me way too close. Quick. Words. Now you're close. I can't believe you're cooking that food in this house around a person like me that can't eat this food. By choice. Look at that. There's, there's orange stuff. Tomatoes, really? That I grew? This is the stuff I have to deal with every day. Or, this is the stuff she needs to deal with every day. Wait, 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 wait. This is the stuff I have to deal with, or this is the stuff she needs to deal with? No, this is stuff I have to deal with every day, or this is the stuff that she has to deal with right, every day. Right, that's not what you said. <laughs> I don't know what I said. I'll find out when I watch this back. But I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, whatever it is.
So this was 14.68 pounds. That's $7.99 per pound for ribeye. $117.29. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And this is select grade. So it's a step down from choice. I tried to pick the one that had the most intramuscular fat that I could see from the edges. But this is what I could afford. I mean, I'm not sure if I can afford this, but this is <laughs> this is uh, better than diabetes. I'll say it that much. So my goal is to cut these into steaks. I always, I always, I always aim for a pound. We'll see how good I get. Also, I repurposed that pie plate for meat, and I got this cake knife for cutting my beef. 10.51 ounces, so not a pound. Still decent. Twelve four nine. I mean, the Indian muscular fat's pretty good on this, but there's a lot of. I don't know how to explain it. That was a little thicker. Fourteen ounces. and I tried to go for like an inch thick and it looks like 12 to 14 ounces. My wife said they look good. They look amazing. I so what are you eating for dinner? Steak or sausage soup? Steak. Told you. <laughs> Although uh, if you ask the kids too, I guarantee you every single one of them would say steak. Yeah, so. well, yeah that's true. I would uh, never financially recover from that. <laughs> Sausage soup it is with cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there was a lot of, a lot of, uh, I don't know, like a fat cap or debris on the back end of these that I know most butchers would cut off, but I leave it there. I'm gonna eat it, or at least try to. Now I'm gonna package all these up for sous vide, except for two for dinner and I'll salt those in advance. We're eating a little early, well, 45 minutes. So I better get going. like one didn't seal and this isn't like a super high heavy duty or high priced uh, food saver vacuum sealer but yeah only one so I'm gonna seal that one back up so let's let's count what I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 steaks. This one's a little bit suspect. 
if I don't catch the fact that some of them were a little bit damp from washing it off, it doesn't really seal that great. So 17 steaks. Wow, that's, if I eat two per day, that's like a week's worth of food. <laughs> and if I feed my whole family steaks, that's two days worth of food. <laughs> so yeah, that's quite a bit, but I'm thankful for that. I don't have to eat them all at once and I can, you know, supplement hamburger and obviously venison since I hunt. So yeah, it's, it, it's expensive, but I'm also not buying anything else. I'm not drinking coffee, not drinking energy drinks anymore. I'm not about not buying anything else personally for food. So I guarantee doing the math on that. I'm not spending that much compared to what I did before. Just a standard American diet, that's for sure. And that not that's not even counting in time and money when it comes to doctor stuff or ability or having to pay someone else to do stuff because I couldn't do it, but now I can. All right, let's package up these last two and I'll see you again when I sear these steaks. What do you guys do when you're waiting for steak to heat up? Eat a big old steer, eat steak, eat steak, do we have one deer? Eat beef, eat beef, it's a mighty good food. It's a great a meal when I'm in the mood. Here comes crying children. <laughs> hey babe, you like my steaks? Mommy. You like mommy? Do you like these steaks? Yeah. You love them? I'm gonna put them in this hot pan, stain the seal. It's hot. It is hot. It has no, no oil. We get a pretty good sear that way. Let's see how it goes. Pre-salted. Might fit. Bam. Do you like steaks a lot? Yeah. You love steak? Yeah. You're having you're having sausage soup. Oh. You like that too? Yeah, we eat it with a spoon. You yeah. see with the spoon? Yeah. I'm a little thirsty today. You smell that? Does it smell good? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I keep forgetting to use my screen. Take some of the excitement out of it. Yeah, and this dog is always under my feet. Nice and pretty. Don't feel my feet. Fair enough. I got I got limits and boundaries. Yeah. That seems like a good one. Is ready for a flip? Oh. Good night, nice too. Are you guys tired of seeing cooked steaks? We're 11 days in, no, 12 days in, see, don't even know what day it is, 12 days in, let me know in the comments if you're tired of seeing grilled steak, or seared steak, or steak in general, is this a mistake? <laughs> I used to think I was a mistake, but I'm not. That'll preach. If you, yes, if you film me from a lower perspective up, it makes it look like I have authority. Well, I was like, can I help you film? I said, yeah. Now I have nothing to say. She's just staring and pointing on your camera at me. So I'm even more socially awkward than normal. 
I feel like I have to say something. Cook it on one side. Flip it. Done. I cooked it about three minutes on one side. Cooked it about three minutes on the other side. I'll probably just flip it again. Two minutes on either other side. Five minutes maybe for medium rare. That's my guess. I could be up. I could be way off. That's why I like the sous vide machine. It takes that guesswork out. In the olden days, when I used to cook steak, I used to be pretty good at it, just judging it. Let it cook for a certain amount of time, and then let it rest for about double that time, right? Or is it half the time? One of the two. You'll find out what it's wrong. All righty. We'll let it rest. See you at the dinner table. Amen. Amen. All right. Maybe I need to get some wood cutting boards for my wife, but I did give her a, a, a boning knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Hopefully it's good. Done this, done this on that. Those are really big. Eh, it's a little rare. This cutting board has a flavor to it. <laughs> Just like dish soap. I feel like wood absorbs flavors a lot. I think I'm just used to a sous vide machine, just changing it a little bit. How's it taste? Good. Does it need salt? Mm, maybe a little, it's okay. I feel like a sharp knife really helps. How's the sausage soup? Good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Just a little bit, then you go eat your soup, okay? There's meat in the soup, too. This is my diabetes medicine. Day 12, lion diet, almost done. I'm gonna finish this steak off camera, enjoy time with my family. Yesterday I forgot to look on my phone and see what subscribers are at. We're at 4,365. Wait, there's carrots in this? Yeah, there's carrots in this. So we're creeping back up again. I see it going up and going down, up and going down. I need to catch up on the comments, big time. Oh, Grace, by the way, hold on, let me see. Says from Happy, wrote, Beautiful job, Grace. Hiking at Eastwood Metro Park, filmed and edited by Grace Kilby. One year ago, your sweet video you made. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad that it's awesome. All right, well. So, every time I. Try this. Something. Someone always says something. And I get it. Oh, dead. I'll make it. Love you guys. Oh. Kill me out. I think. Yeah. Okay. 
Steaky, 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 big old steery, steaky, steak. Could we have one, dearie? Beef, 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 it's a mighty good food. It's a great A meal when I'm in the mood. Dun, dun, dun.